Hi everyone, how's it going? Welcome back with me Nathan. In this video, I want to show you how to use Kilo Code and VS Code to build any apps you want even if you are a complete beginner. So here's the main interface of Kilo Code. It's actually pretty simple. You have a chat input box where you can send your prompt to Kilo. And below that, you have the interaction mode option. By default, Kilo Code has 5 different modes. Code is for writing code and implementing features. Architect is for planning how to create an application or system. S is just like Architect, but it can create a markdown file for an implementation plan. Debug is for fixing errors. And Orchestrator is for dividing a huge task to small subtasks and tackle them one by one. You can also create your own mode by clicking Edit here. Then click the plus button over here, but we're not going to do that for now. Later on, I will show you how to use the code and architect mode, as we'll start with the basics first. Next to the interaction mode, you also have the API provider selector here, in which you can select the API to use. Again, you can create many API provider entries if you click the edit option here, and here's the API provider's configuration. By default, you should use the Kilo Code API provider, which is granted when you sign up for an account with Kilo Code. Down here, you can see the model used by Kilo. It's Sonnet 3.7 here, uh, so let me change it to Sonnet 4. Just type in Claude, and here is Sonnet 4, so let's select that. Click Save, and we're done. Now, if you have another API provider, you can just click the plus button here. For example, suppose I want to add an Open Router API. I can name this as Open Router. Then in API Provider, select Open Router. Now enter the Open Router API key here, and then select the model to use, for example, maybe DeepSeek. And here we go, click Save, and now we have two API profiles. We can select which one we want to use back in Kilo Code main interface over here. Next, there is the Enhanced Prompt option here. This is useful if you want AI to improve your prompt. Let me show you an example. So write create a to-do app over here. And then if we click on the enhance prompt button, Kilo Code will try to make a comprehensive prompt out of the basic prompt we just entered. Okay, here we can see the improved prompt. So the to-do app will have task categorization, data persistence, and much more. It's awesome, but we're not going to use that prompt for now. So let's delete it. Next to the Enhance Prompt button, we have the Attachment button to attach images, files, and any contacts you might need to provide to Kilo Code. Now, the last important option is the Settings option at the top right. Here, you can configure all the settings for Kilo Code, such as the API Provider, Auto Approve Commands, Browser Tool, and even the MCP Marketplace, where you can search and install any MCP tool you want to use. For example, if you want to use Context 7, you can do so here. Now, we're not going to explore MCP just yet as it's a bit advanced. For now, let's just go back to the main interface and create our first app with Kilo Code. Alright, let's go ahead and see what Kilo Code is capable of doing. First, let's click on the Explorer tab over here and then select Open Folder. This folder is where our code will be written, so it's recommended to select an empty folder. I will use this Kilo Code Playground folder I have created previously. Next, to open both Explorer tab and Kilo Code tab, let's move Kilo Code to the secondary sidebar on the right side. Alright, now we can see our Kilo Code on the right side, so we can open the Explorer on the left side, and any open files will be shown in the middle. Now that we're ready, let's ask Kilo Code to build a node organizer app where users can create nodes and organize their knowledge. Here, I describe the main function of the app, what data to save, as well as the nodes format, the organization, search and sort capabilities, the UI design, the layout, as well as the initial setup. Alright, let's send the prompt in and let Kilo Code do the work for us. First, it will create some plan on how to tackle the task. And here the AI starts working on the task. It creates an HTML file over here and the editor opens the file for us to look at. It's cool to see the code being streamed live from the AI itself. Now this generation will take some time, so I will skip ahead to when the generation is finished. And here the generation is already completed. We can see the details here described by the AI. Now let's open the application in the browser. 
Just run this command. Alright, so here's the app generated by KiloCode and Cloud for Sonnet. This app looks nice, but let's try and see if the features are implemented. First, we will create a new node with this plus button down here. Add a title, text, and then the node content. Click save. Okay, it's added. New tags are also added up here. Now let's sort by date. Hmm, it seems the sword is from the latest day to early only, so no matter which one I choose, it doesn't change the order of the notes. But I guess it's fine for now, let's continue to test attacks. Click on attack. Okay, so the notes are filtered to show only notes with that tag. And yep, it's working. So next is search. Uh, type kilo. Okay, we can search notes, and the result is instant over here. Next, let's edit a note, update the title and the content, click save. Okay, it's updated. Now delete a note. So the note is deleted and the text up here are also updated. This app seems to work as expected, so let's get back to KiloCode. Here in KiloCode, we can see how much the generation costs. It's just 3 cents over here, so it's pretty cheap when compared to the result. Alright, so this task is completed, and now we can go and do another task. Now, one of the biggest obstacles in building apps with AI is that people don't know what prompt to send to the AI. I often get messages from friends and colleagues who say they are just completely lost when it comes to AI. For example, in here I have this detailed prompt that I send to AI, but beginners usually don't know how to add this kind of detail in their prompts. Now, a technical editor like VS Code here can still feel intimidating for someone just starting out. And when AI spits out code faster than you can follow, it can be overwhelming, especially for people who have no background in programming at all. So I totally get why people are anxious. But to be honest, there's no need to be confused when you're lost. I get lost too sometimes, just take a deep breath first, and then consult with AI about what you want to do. Let me show you another example. This time, I want to build a chess game, but I don't really know how to create a detailed plan for this game. So, what to do? Well, it's time to use the architect mode provided by KiloCode. First, I will create a new folder here called chess game, and then I will start a new task. Next, change the mode to architect mode, I already did that here. Now type the add symbol and select add folder, then the chess game folder, and now just say I want to build a simple chess game in the browser, create a plan for this, focus on as little code as possible. Press enter to send in the prompt and let KiloCode work on it a bit. Here you can see that KiloCode requires some information from me to make a good plan. The first one is what level of chess functionality do you want to implement? All chess rules or just the basic? And here are the options given by Kilo. Um, I will select full chess implementation here. Alright, next, do you want this to be a single player game with AI or two player game? Hmm, here I will select both options. Okay, the next one is for the AI opponent, what level of complexity it should have. I think I will just select basic strategic AI here. Alright, and so the AI now has all the context needed to make a comprehensive plan. So, based on the answers that we provided, here is the plan. Let's wait until it finished. Now Kilo here asks if we are satisfied with the plan, or is there any change we want to make. Let's scroll up a bit to see the plan. Okay. And here you can even see an architecture diagram planned by Kilo and Sonnet4, which is pretty cool. I didn't expect that at all. So the outline seems great, and now I will select it looks good, let's write it into a markdown file. So, I hope this demonstration shows you how helpful AI can be. While I know how to code, I certainly can't come up with a plan to implement a chess game in a few minutes like KiloCode did here, so it's pretty awesome. Now, the next time you feel lost, just open ChatGPT, Cloud, or any AI assistant and begin talking about your problems. 
Now, after writing the markdown file, Killer Code wants to change the mode from architect to code, and since I have allowed it to run without my permission, it will do just that. Here, it already writes the HTML file, and then the CSS style, and it will do the work as described in the chess game implementation plan. Now, while Killer Code is running, I just want to remind you how powerful AI tools have become today. Knowing how to code is still a huge advantage in this world, it helps when you're planning, building, or fixing issues in your project. But even if you don't have that background, you can still use AI to fill the knowledge gap. It's true that AI is only as good as the person using it. But the great part is, it doesn't expect you to be an expert. You can ask AI to be your assistant, like how do I plan this, what steps should I take, what information you need from me to complete this task, and so on. If you don't know how some things work, Ask AI to explain it for you. Really, learning has never been this easier with AI. It never tires to answer your question, and it won't exclude you for being too hard to teach. The only requirement is that you need to be curious enough to explore with AI as your guide. Alright, let's get back to VS Code and see what has been done by KiloCode. So here it has completed the task, and write this readme file to describe the game for users, such as the features, how to play, game controls, AI difficulty, technical details, and so on. It's pretty nice for people learning how to program here. It definitely helps to know how the game works. Also, we have the HTML file over here, the CSS style, the JavaScript code, and a separate code for the AI chess player. Here on the right side, the AI also describe all the process it did, such as minimal code achievement, testing results, and if we scroll up again, uh, up here, now we can see that Kilo Code actually runs the browser and tests the game a few times before it comes up with all of these results. It's pretty awesome, so now let's try this game. And here's our chess game, there's the mode selection, and move history, so let's try to play it now. Uh, the white chess turn, move the pawn here, and then the black turn. I'm actually just playing by myself here. Now move the queen here, and it's a check, so I need to move the pawn over here to protect the king. And now the white queen has to withdraw. Uh, I think that's enough. Playing chess by yourself isn't exactly a good idea. Uh, let's try the AI mode for a few turns, and then we will wrap up real quick. So move the pawn again here. Okay, the AI also moves the pawn, nice. Now move something else. Um, maybe the knight here. Okay, it moves the bishop, so let's take it out. And uh, I think that's enough for now. The AI is working quite well. It will take a lot of time if we finish this match, so let's stop it right here. And let's get back to VS Code to wrap all this up. Alright, so here we can see that our total API cost for this chess game is just $1. And it already includes the planning with architect mode. And keep in mind that this is not some cheap AI model. It's using Claude Sonnet 4, which is one of the best models available in the world today. Not bad, right? AI may not be AGI yet, but in its current form, AI is already very helpful and opens so many possibilities for everyone. So overall, that's how you can use Kilo Code to build any app you can imagine, sometimes in as simple as one prompt. Kilo Code is a fully loaded AI code editor that you can use to one-shot interactive games or full-stack web apps. It has all the features you would expect from an AI-powered editor, such as the different interaction modes, memory banks, rules, retrieving contacts, and much more. So, what do you think about Kilo Code? I encourage you to try it out for yourself and let me know about your experiences. I hope you all enjoyed today's video and get some value out of it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. 